On the Virginia-based John Frederick Show, newly inaugurated Republican Governor of Virginia Glenn Youngkin, who basically ran his entire campaign on critical race theory, announced that he set up a tip line so you can snitch on bad teachers who teach divisive things in the classroom. So let's listen in on what he says about this. We have set up a particular email address called help education at governor.virginia.gov. Again, help education at governor.virginia.gov for parents to send us uh, any, any instances where they feel that their fundamental rights are being violated, where their children are not being respected, where there are inherently divisive practices in their schools. And we're asking, we're asking for input right from parents to make sure that we can go right to the source as we continue to work to make sure that Virginia's education system is, is on the path to reestablish excellence. Okay, so I'm sure that that will be very helpful. Um, in case you missed it, I mean, he said it twice, but just in case you missed it, thankfully, Qasem Rashid also posted the email online. He says, GOP Virginia governor just set up a tip line to report schools and teachers who teach about racism. The email is helpeducation at governor.virginia.gov. Whatever you do, don't make a mockery of this with fake tips. That would be a terrible thing to do. RT so everyone knows not to send fake tips. Mm hmm. I think you know what happened next. People trolled the hell out of this tip line, and the results were just hilarious. So here's what they shared. This person wrote, I have heard reports that schools in Virginia are teaching Arabic numerals. I fear that we've become so focused on exposing critical race theory in public education that we've forgotten all about creeping Sharia law. Please address this matter immediately. Best Andrew Syme. This person wrote in, Albus Dumbledore was teaching that full-blooded wizards discriminated against mudbloods. Fire him immediately. Tom Riddle. This person wrote, Mrs. Crabapple and <laughs> Principal Skinner were... <laughs> Mrs. Crabapple and Principal Skinner were in the closet making babies, and I saw one of the babies, and the baby looked at me. <laughs> We're, we're just getting started here. This person sent in a tip saying, my teenage son came home from school and told me his teachers are attempting to teach him. <laughs> I'm, out, I'm outraged and find this completely unacceptable. Who do these teachers think they are? I don't need these teachers to educate the next generation. If they do that, how are we supposed to get people like you elected? This madness must stop. This person says, I'm compelled to report Bellatrix Lestrange. <laughs> and her secret lesbian lover, Santanico Pendemonium, have been reportedly forcing students to read Chaucer's Canterbury Tales backwards dressed in a leopard skin onesie thong while riding a Nimbus 2000 on the nights of full moon. This is a travesty that must be addressed immediately as the onesie thong should be neon pink, as we all know. Thank you for rectifying this blatant lack of protocol and decorum from Bruticus Throat Punch, Lugnut Supreme. <laughs> The dumber they get, the, the more funny. <laughs> so listen, I have to say for the record that I unequivocally condemn any trolling that is being sent. This is a serious tip line, okay? So you should be using this to report bad teachers. And since I am serious about being real here, I'm going to lead by example. Of course, I had to send an, an email myself. Um, so here's uh, what I have here. <clears throat> to whom it may concern, my child informed me that his teacher, Miss Frizzle, was trying to teach him about vaccines during a recent unauthorized school field trip. My child alleged that he and his classmates shrunk down in size by harnessing the power of a magical, presumably witchcraftian or satanic bus, and subsequently entered the asshole of their vaccinated classmate, Ralphie. Once they were in Ralphie's body, my son told me that they examined up close the antibodies Ralphie had received by taking the mRNA vaccine. To to make matters worse, they exited Ralphie's body by getting sneezed out of his nose. So not only did my son come home reciting Big Pharma talking points, he also smelled like literal shit after traversing through the bloodstream of his classmate. To say I'm outraged would be putting it lightly. This needs to be addressed immediately with an executive order. Best, Candace stick fit in your mouth, buckler. And haters are going to say that that's not a real story, but it is. So if you don't believe me, then that's on you. Um, but yeah, we have to take this tip line 
seriously. We have to make sure that people don't flood it, and so that way we can weed out some of these bad teachers who are teaching divisive things in the school classroom. So uh, one more time, in case you forgot, that email address is helpeducation at governor.virginia.gov. Um, it'd be a shame if you posted the email that you sent down in the comment section. I definitely will not be reading that because I don't want to endorse bad behavior. This is for serious people only, serious tips only. So if you're going to snitch, make sure it's about something that actually happened, as was the case with my son, who definitely goes to school in Virginia and rode on the magic school bus with Miss Frizzle and entered the asshole of their classmate, Ralphie. Um, that is a true story. Again, don't don't say I'm lying. You guys, you guys know that I would never send in a fake email. So yeah, uh, I'm done. I just wanted to share some of these with you. Very um, fascinating story, if you ask me. Were you acting like a?